Okay, hello and happy Mother's Day. It's me, Pan the Magic Dragon. I am here with the wonderful Hope Trinity and wishing you the most fantastically wonderful, magically delicious Mother's Day. And I wanna just take this opportunity. You can see some of the art in the background uh, here that Hope is an incredible, uh, magical artist, uh, an enchanting, visionary and you know this Mother's Day um, I was I chose to be here to to love and honor this mom and she's you know she's had a daughter who she's raised since she was 16 years old um, with a dad who's not been in the picture and this is unfortunately common you know um, I was gonna go to this other Beltane gathering I'd already been doing it up at the Goddess Temple I was gonna go down to Nevada City and be like wow and I'm like that'd be like a Mother's Day night thing and like but I really felt like it would be more grounding because um, part of why we're sharing this video, you know, Hope is a real uh, heroic, um, kind mother. And she treats her daughter Elena so well, um, has raised her, she's almost seven years old for the last uh, almost seven years. And um, she also, uh, Hope also has some health problems with um, hereditary kidney stones and it's been very painful for her so you know instead of going to the Beltane thing I just felt like it was more grounding and loving to come and spend some time and you know give some massages and um, hang out with the kiddo and so I'm in this video really wanting to share that I want to commit to being a good uncle figure um, I have the privilege of not being a dad so I haven't had to spend the thousands of hours and dollars and you know all the things to, to raise a kid and there's a lot of men who even if they have a kid they don't really do that in either like the dad of you know, and it's like, you were, a t you know, you're a teenager. You're literally, uh, what, a sophomore in high school and you had a baby and. Yeah. I don't even know, I dropped out. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. So like, so. so women bear the burden of a disproportionate, not just with children, but also with the, they, you know, receive sexual assault and trauma and get paid less in the workplace. Um, so really encouraging the dudes to step up. And, you know, for me, I don't even, I don't even have any, Pants. I don't have pants. I do have pants on, but sometimes. I don't. <laughs> some, yeah, you don't. Yeah, you don't even. Whoa, she doesn't have pants. It's okay, folks. Relax. It's Mother's Day. It's Mother's Day. She gets to. She shouldn't wear. Who's wearing pants on? What moms are wearing pants on Mother's Day? Where'd that little plant like, thing go? Here, where the. In the morning, no way. Do we know where the plant is? Okay. Well, also. Oh my God. No. See, this is terrible. It must have. See, so I have pledged. I have pledged. I was like, I'm gonna care for this. I wanted to show my care with a magic spell for this beautiful plant here. Um, it's a mimicry plant. It's a stone faith and dies up. It also looks kind of like a beautiful, I mean, it's very erotic, right? Um, let's see if I can get it focused. Yeah, there. Um, but yeah, I guess it got knocked over by a cat or a child and now it's almost dead. So you can see it's hard. It takes work to not let the plants and the kids and everybody get all dead. So I guess I'm learning my lesson. I'm sorry. <laughs> I will try. Oh, baby. Look at this. I just want to give it a little kiss like this. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. But I'm sorry. I might have to rescue it now, honey. But, uh, <clears throat> sorry, baby. But, you know, calling on the men to step up, please. And, 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 you know, let's look at some of this art. Heart, hope, as I look at the art, what does this, tell me about your, like, journey and how this art, what is this? And everybody else, like, oh, my God, if you're seeing this, look how beautiful this is. So... My art along with my journey has really kind of shifted even before I had a kid my art was different before you know it was now even from a year ago I was drawing a little bit more spiritual influences you know and everything has been like this is an journey. older piece here right yeah that was my daughter's first pet kind of like in her astral form yes you know, after she had passed away her pet died and this is the spirit of this pet. So going from a bit more spiritual influence to being more of like an erotic form, this kind of manifested due to like my daughter getting older and me finding my own, my own being and my own essence without her, you know, being able to allow myself to be sexual and erotic and have that portion of who I am because I am still so young most of my life has been caring for a small child and so now that she's older I'm gaining more independence so am I and 
I mean, most people have already experienced that side of themselves and gone to explore. So it's a new portion of my journey as well. Going from being a mother, it's kind of like a little bit going backwards, but it's been interesting. And art is the one way that I'm able to express it, more so than words. It's the way that I'm able to manifest the things that I feel or the things that I see, you know, the things that I'm not able to describe and share. Mm. It's so powerful and beautiful and, and you do draw from a deep well of spiritual wisdom, of psychic sense. I mean, you can see it in some of this. I mean, and this is one of your more recent pieces. So this one's yeah. not even done yet, but I just love this. It's like... It's the girl manifesting her dreams into reality. The wow. water is symbolizing like emotions with the Kundalini life force rising in ascension with the chakra alignment. Let's make sure we can see all this. You know, and I have the symbolism of swords with the hearts, kind of like a battle between the two, but wielding her power wow. with the dagger. Incredible. But, you know, I don't know what it's called, the little neck thing. Yeah. It's kind of symbolizing frill. like the fool. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, true. Jester. And I mean, there's themes of life and death. And yeah. this is another one. And now, see, this one isn't even done yet, but I mean, gorgeous, right? Like, even just a tiny snippet, if you're just to focus on this, you could look at this. There's so much richness, um, the line work, the paint. So um, <clears throat> as you can, I don't know, I just, I think it's amazing that hope, like starting at age 16, and even before that, you had just dudes that, you know, treated you sexually when you're a child, but then they didn't show up for you at all. They just used you and, and then, you know, or whatever, like this baby daddy just is not showing up. So um, I'm so you you were you became an adult when you're a teenager as a mom because you had to you didn't have a choice But you know what you kept your daughter and you raised her and you birthed her and you were an incredible mom yeah. And you give everything for your daughter and that's so beautiful to me. And so happy Mother's Day to you, baby I am purchasing uh, an art piece a commission art piece from Hope Trinity um, and she wanted to announce this offer that if you are interested in this incredible art, um, first of all, if you want like a big, beautiful commission, like these aren't even done. Think about that. Like this is like, these are still getting filled in with minute, incredible detail. Like this one is one of the newer, more erotic, where is it? This one, erotic. Look at those boobies. Mm -hmm. This, um, this is just, you know, emerging. This was a commission that she had for a massage therapist. But then they were like, oh, it's too sexy for my massage office, right? <laughs> so like, it's amazing. Like your sexuality, your, your sacred expression of divine arrows is really popping off. And so anyway, if you wanna um, donate any amount to Hope up to $100 minimum or more, um, you will get something beautiful uh, in the mail from her, um, a piece of some kind. Now, if you are interested in a larger, piece either one of these existing ones maybe you're just like oh my goddess the one with the the cat with wings and the tea party or like the girl with the mind ex expanding you know like in into this dream like if those maybe there's an existing piece or maybe there's a custom piece i think one of the coolest things about hope is she rocks the customs and like you give her the, the ideas and the wisdom and then she just is so skillful and she has such of her own you know vision and she is in this erotic phase um and you know she's still scrapping and hustling i mean we're here in this apartment but like you know this is like a big step like when i met her she was selling her art at art fairs but out of her car you know like just scrapping and hustling because she's not going to just concede and throw her dreams away but she's still working hard she's working to become a massage therapist um and she's taking good care of her daughter every single day so uh, yeah, if you want to um, get in on some of this amazing art, because get it now, because it's gonna be blown up. Soon it's gonna be like, oh my God, that's a ho original Hope Trinity. Oh yeah, it's a custom Hope Trinity. What, she doesn't even do that anymore. Be like Alex Gray times 10 or something. So um, anyway, drop me a line um, if you want to talk and um, you know make a, 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 a contribution or just you know send a message and be like, that's awesome art, you know? Um, yeah. Any final words, darling? Thank Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. Any final, final words beyond that? I kind of interrupted you. 
I don't know. <laughs> I think it's perfect. I, th I think it's perfect. I think there's more to be felt than to be said. Mm. You know, journey progresses, things move on. That is a. And I'm really glad <sighs> to be here and to be to be able to experience this Mother's Day with you. Mm. It is a true blessing. Likewise. And I love that 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 yin, that intuitive feminine wisdom. There's more to be felt than there is to be said. I agree. Thanks for reminding me. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. Also, Barbara Williams. I love you, Mom. I love you so much. <laughs> it's not just about this cute girl. I always love my own mom. Happy Mother's Day, Mama. And to all of those who aren't mothers, good job be doing other things ladies you don't have to be a mom to be great but you know and all the dads who are doing good jobs and all the bros and uncles okay love you